this is what they're mad about. Like, not only did somebody go through the effort to make a mod, but people go through the effort to seek out and download this mod for something that, like, just to not be reminded that trans people exist. Hello, cunt. Do you have things to say? People want to hear your voice. Into the mic. I found this in the wake of Starfield, uh, the pronoun outrage. Fucking pronouns! Fucking gender ambiguity! And I was doing a little bit of digging into like the community's reaction to it. And I came across a Reddit board where people were talking about mods and how Nexus mods famously had already made it a bannable offense if you make any mods um, that, you know, try and remove the pronoun selection because it's transphobic and dumb. And I saw somebody else talking about in that, in that same Reddit based mods which is apparently the chud answer to the, the mods that mainstream mod forums won't carry. So I thought it would be fun to go in and see what, what qualifies as a based mod. What, what do these folks think is a good mod? And why might they be separate from the rest of the normal mod communities out there? Because I... Again, I only dipped my toe in. I basically just looked at the main website and then I was like, okay, I gotta, I'm gonna go over this on stream because this, this is gonna be good. There's, there's, there's meat on these bones. You are so cuddly today, my goodness. Peep game at the aesthetics here because I think they're clearly going for like almost a vapor wavy thing, but also like dog shit uh, design. I don't hate what, like necessarily the aesthetic they're doing is just very plain and then the whole based thing in conjunction with the like renaissance era looking painting behind it is just it's it's serving like a uh, western culture twitter account and not pulling it off i want to see hat and time is a I don't want to say it's like a children's game, because I think that's reductive for platformers, but like, Hat in Time is a very kid-friendly platformer. So I'm curious what flag be gone. Oh. It, uh... Oh, here we go. Removes trans pride found in the sewer. Extract to... And that's it. Okay, well, at least it gives pictures, but it, like, literally this texture... I cannot imagine. Now again, I haven't played Hat in Time. I cannot imagine being so bothered by something that is ephemeral to the game environment that I would want it removed. Like is this is this something that you see all the time in the game or is this something that you just does anybody you know? Hmm. So Atomic Heart, I know a bunch of weird internet nerds went bonkers over the sexy lady robots in Atomic Heart. Uh, uncensored cartoon, original version of the Soviet cartoon. Was that was that like a racial thing? Yeah, it was just a, a racist cartoon. But it's this isn't. I wouldn't call this a mod unless it's literally like a an MP4 in the game that you can. I don't know. That's very strange. All right, Baldur's Gate three, one of the hot hot properties of today. Um, Fey run as we know it. Better aesthetics. I don't, before, after, that's just a, that's just a face, that's just a guy's face. Uh, swaps of the lot are uglier faces. So these people don't like ugly faces. Swaps out a lot of the uglier face preset options in character creations for one that are generally more appealing. Uses faces taken from Nexus. Bomber crew, Cyberpunk 2077, remove, oh, here we go. Remove the trans flag found on the back of, like, look, look at that. Look at how small this is what they're mad about. Like, like this. Somebody went... Like, not only did somebody go through the effort to make a mod, but people go through the effort to seek out and download this mod 
for something that like just to not be reminded that trans people exist. Like that is so many hoop the amount of hoops you have to jump through, I feel like almost guarantee more than anything that when you see this truck now in the game, the one spot that you removed a trans flag from, you're going to remember it. Like, so it even defeats the purpose. Um, Doom 2. What? Of course. Holy fuck. So, for those of you, and uh, content warning for racist imagery. For those of you who don't know, like, the Doom modding community, Moon Man is a infamously racist, shitty, uh, like, if, if you are familiar with the history of, like, ultra-violent or ultra, like, transgressive and edgy and banned video games, you'll know things like, um, Racial Cleansing, I think is the name of the, the shitty shooter that was financed by the Aryan Nations in the mid-2000s. The Moon Man mod is essentially, is a very similar thing, um, where it is just the most cartoonish, over-the-top, explicit, racist representations of pretty much every minority group. Oh. Yeah, and Toilet Wine Connoisseur, that doesn't, that doesn't surprise me. Like, the, unfortunately, the problem is, I'm not sure what poll is, but I, you know, I'm probably good. The thing that kind of pisses me off is Christchurch.wad. Or I guess Christchurch wad. Um, which is like sickening that a website would be proud to host something like that. That is like very clearly just meant to be like a, a reenactment of the first person uh broadcasted murder of Muslims in New Zealand. Like like I I don't like to yuck anybody's yum too much, but if that's the kind of thing that you find yourself like downloading and enjoying when you're not working, like if, if you kick back and crack open a brew and you load up the Christchurch wad. Stop it. Get some help. Um, a mod community for the alt-right and free speech warriors. This, however, Barney fucks the shit up. This this child looks like it has blood on its face. That's a bananas and pajamas, which is a based obscure reference for for real heads. Real heads know bananas and pajamas. Um, the thing is, this is probably like really edgy and gory and violent. I don't. I, I'm not mad at it though, because like I'm, and maybe it's just because I'm from the the generation of. Um, like, I, I don't know if anybody else remembers the, the, like, the parody Barney song that went around schools. Um, with a big shotgun and a two-by-four, no more purple dinosaur. Like, does anybody remember that? Or is that just me? I know, exactly, since the 90s. And, like, I can't guarantee this doesn't have racist stuff in it. It very well might. But on its face, like, whatever. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not mad at that. From the hopes and optimism of Donald Trump's presidential campaign in 2016. Oh, so it's like super racist. Scenes with Jeb Bush. Keck approved. Triggering content SJW tears. I feel like people people don't realize that like there are doom modders who are like boomers now. Like this? Boomer shit. Like boomer shit. SJW tears. Wow. Great. Dwarf Fortress. Edit out black and LGBT dwarfs. And they just post a like a 4chan thing. Great. I don't know anything about Dying Light, but I'm assuming that it is letting you murder the black woman with a blue streak in her hair instead of the uh, what they would call the hot white woman. So, cool stuff all around. Huh. Great. Like, again, these people are... The people who would do this kind of thing are more obsessed with sex and gender than any trans person I've ever known. Like, they, they cannot have a simple, easy-to-read, leg, le, legible... 
easy to understand menu that just says, do you want body type A, which is the more masculine one, or do you want body type B, which is the more feminine one? They have to have male and female. Like it's, it's bonkers. Sex replaces body type French version. Oh Translated for French players. They just ran it through a, a Google, like, that is so goofy. What? A fully voiced and recruitable Donald Trump NPC making Fallout 4 finally great again. Mods that change Good Neighbor or Diamond City can mess up NPC positions and behavior during the initial quests. What the f- That's a- like, a lot of effort for something so pathetic. Like, that's... That... Oh, thank you very much, Boxing Cat Ups, W. All. I've been in a spooky mood. I had my, um... I had my trick-or-treat earrings on earlier, but I took them off. Um, I don't care enough to download a mod. These people see something so simple and have to have it removed or they will lose their minds. Yeah, like, that's that's the thing, is that it's... It is, like, so simple... But they are so, like, they have tied their identity to their gender in a way that is so unbelievable. Huh. Grounded Commonwealth. Overhauls hundreds of NPCs and alters thousands of records so that the experience now aligns with more with what you would expect from a caricatured, caricatured America that never moved on from its 1950s atom, atomic age culture. Dozens of main characters have been reworked and revoiced. Revoiced? Holy shit. And... The dialogue of several quests has been adjusted. Okay, so it just made a woman into a square-jawed buff guy. Uh, black guy into a white guy. Black guy into a white guy. Black guy into a white woman. So it, it's it's just... It's just racist. It, they should just call it... Like, just be honest. Like, we made Fallout racist. The New Order... Turns the Fallout universe into the Wolfenstein universe. The buildings, flags, armor, and other items are changed. Contains optional German voices for Brotherhood of Steel and turning the railroad to French resistance. That... That's not... Here's the thing. On its face, because the Brotherhood of Steel in that game are, are the bad guys, um, or are very much not a good group to chill with. Um, so that's not, like, on its face terrible. However... I do not trust this website at all. I do not trust somebody who would upload here to make something that depicts those Germans as baddies. Are we the baddies? Flags of the Third Reich. The only thing you can use these for in the game is decorating your house. Or decorating your settlements, by the way. So this is just... This is, by, by the way, this is exactly what people say when they have a website that is like, Oh, we're, we stand for free speech. It's not that hard to fucking find. Like, you just scroll down, it's like, hey, do you want to have Nazi flags in your fictional house? Yeah, me making a house full of these and blowing it up. Oh, Windows 95. It sure did not. Let's. I can't wait to see what else they got. What Fallout New Vegas. Heil Caesar. You can choose to install one or the other. So they are probably way into Caesar's Legion, if I had to bet. Fire Emblem Engage. Um, censored words, topics, romance deleted from multiple characters, and shitty dialogue that disrupted the tone and whole conversations. These malicious, malicious changes caused inconsistencies in the script and even erased some of the characters' purposes and personalities. This patch is not a complete rewrite and focuses on censorship, trying to bring the English script closer to the original one. King of Fighters 15. What could we have here? Jesus Christ. Nazi outfit for whip character. Like, it's, it's just Nazi shit. It's just Nazi shit on Nazi shit. Uh, KH2 uncensored rifle scopes. That's weird. Um, storage original content from the Japanese version. 
Uh, censorship fix, the scene that shows Daisy Duck spanking Donald Duck. They, you, they gotta have, they just cannot, in, God, they, they, you don't understand. This is, this is how censorship changes art. How can you properly appreciate a game like Kingdom Hearts 2 if you can't see Daisy Duck spanking Donald Duck? Ugh. It's mostly a lot of, like, suicide stuff. Finding a Hydra in the international version, the green blood was changed to a black mist. Kank, that allows you to move the camera to see. So, it's Donald Duck spanking. No, no, it did some other stuff that I understand. It's, like, bl uh, blood and gore that was censored. Uh, the other thing they decided to, to change was the mechanic that allows you to move the camera to see Kyrie's underwear was modified for the international release. In the international version, you can't see her underwear. So they, um, God, what is, what is Kyrie's age? Fifteen. That's gross. Good, good job fighting censorship. Nazis and pedophiles. Cool, 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 cool. Smutty Bobby Gaga. Cool, cool, cool. Not cool. Not cool at all. Super straight. Jesus Christ. Symbol of straight pride. Let. I don't. Why? Why? Marvel's Spider-Man remastered. What do we wanna? What do we wanna see here? Custom out. Fuck. I don't even, I, I don't, I, this is not my Spider-Man, that, that ain't my Spidey, fuck you for fucking, oh, and replace pride flags with American flags, bullshit, fuck man, yeah, you ever notice how a lot of the same people who are against queer representation, Perfectly fine with this kind of shit. Perfectly fine inserting their own symbols over beloved characters. Yeah, they, they don't mind. The, the same people who are always talking about how, oh, I can't believe you replaced this character with a person of color. They don't seem to really care. They don't seem to really kick up a fuss. When they're making a uh, famous Jewish character, Peter Parker, racist. The hell? Ooh, let's see what they did to Miles Morales. What the fuck? Change murals to more inspiring images. Install using SCMP tool. So, a Black Lives Matter mural is changed to some 1950s bullshit that never happened. Black man changed to white woman cooking. How dare you do the fish like that? Son of a bitch. Replaces all pride flags with the American flag. Yeah. They they gotta... Gotta do dope fish like that. Alright, well this is just old skins, so... Shockingly, they didn't add, like, sex or anything to Minecraft. Mountain Blade 2 adds a new hostile action to take children from their weeping mothers and conscript them into the army. What? So... What sociopath is sitting there playing Mountain Blade being like, I'm, you know, I'm kind of having a good time with it, but you know what's really breaking my immersion? I can't steal any children and put them into my army. Like, I, there are just not enough child soldiers through brutal direct action. More war crimes. They added kidnapping. Yeah, Hive Indicator, they added kidnapping. That's the Pathfinder, Path of the Righteous. 
lighter character portraits for Sila and Sociol, as well as a few custom portraits from Kingmaker. Yeah, shocking. Star Ocean, the Divine Force, censorship. Similar as possible to the original game. God, we just can't see this uh, character's tits enough. What is what is the age of this character? Great. Uh, sixteen. That is a that is a sixteen year old. So we got we got two mods for being able to see the panties and uh, tits of underage characters, and that is so important. They had to jump through all these hoops to make it happen. Free free speech warriors, everybody. Yeah, here we got the censor stuff. Partially your toy story mode content censored by developer. Remove Sonic Fox. <laughs> Completely removes the e-celeb furry character from the game. E-celeb. Uh, I love how they call Sonic Fox an e-celeb. Like they're not one of the best fighting game players like, ever, of all time, if not the best. Like, who can go pound for pound with anybody in almost any game. Yeah, Smutty Baba Yaga, I'm, I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna play that game. Star Ocean Divine Force, already got that. Stardew Valley. Lighter skin cones. The... Let's see. What does is, what is, uh, Maru look like? Oh, Maru's black. So they made her white. And uh, Demetrius, black, just made him white. It's, like, that's not even accurate because they don't make it lighter skin tone. It's literally a different, like, the entire character is a different, like, it's a different sprite altogether. Like, down to, I mean, the shirt is the same, but, like, everything else, completely different. Yeah, just racism. Just racism. Uh, are we learn are we learning there like there are themes here when when people keep talking about like, oh, we just we just want to have free speech. We just want our own little space for free speech. I can't believe you guys aren't letting us have free speech in our mods. And then the mods proceed to be able to ogle children and Nazis and turning everybody white. Alright, here we go. Andrea preset. Uh, normal and Crimson Fleet. Change the NPC appearance. Oh, cool. No blacks. So here's a... Damn, they, they are working fast on these. Removes all or most non-story related black NPCs. Keeps white and Asians plus some tanned Asians. Um, It hasn't been an hour and we've seen like five Nazi mods and a few anti-censorship ones. Yeah. Yeah. Usually right next to each other. That, that seems how... Uh, Ro Super Robot Wars 30. All right, let's go Stellaris first. European phenotypes. God, these guys are such fucking nerds. Biddies, thank you very much, Boxing Cat SWL. Um, modifies vanilla human species by setting all portraits. Oh, and nameless to those of European descent. It's like... Nothing has ever bothered me this much. Yeah, they really only make... The, like, Ranger 451, they only really make three mods. It's Nazism, gay people or black people bad, and I need to see a minor more naked. Like, that's that's the three... That's like the big... The pillars of uh, free speech for these, these kind of people. Uh, Super Robot Wars 30 fixes translation errors and removes pronoun dialogue. All right, Terraria... Hi, Poilapan. Gives the zoologist NPC lighter skin color and big milkers. I, like, I can't, when, I don't know if everybody knows, but when you're playing, I've never been a big Terraria person. But I've played, I picked it up a couple times. When you play it, like imagine this is the size of the screen. This is the size of your characters. Like they're tiny. They're tiny. 
So imagine needing to see one, two, three, four, five, six, Two, three, four, five. Five by six pixels worth of titty. Like you have to get a mod to see five by six pixels worth of boobage. These are the kind of people who will call other people addicted to porn. Like, uh, yeah, you, real Sergeant Crispy, you gotta squint to see them. All right, let's go Skyrim. Uh, no same-sex marriage. Great. Yeah, it's just straight up. Uh, straight roll elf. More racism in Windhelm. This is a hell of a way to describe that. Enriches the nativist sentiment of Windhelm and adds war propaganda, poetry, gray skin, tears, ale, and more. Also rewrites much of the player-centered dialogue to have a more grounded and less fantasy racism feel to it. They just want more racism, like more racism. A good evening. Go back to your own country. What the fuck did you just say? The Binding of Isaac. Troon Jack to Transcendence. All right, well, um, I guess content warning for anti-trans imagery. This is fucking pathetic. Replaces the sprite and costume sprite for Transcendence to a Troon Jack. Is Transcendence like a, a trans character? It's, it's, because it's a noose, so they made it a trans. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! That's, that's about the, uh, the level of, of intelligence I'm expecting here. X4F, sensible, de sensible demographics. More sensible race and sex demographics for the human and split faction. Also restored the space trooper armor for marines. Uh, and I feel like by now, at the, at the end of this list, we really know what more sensible race and sex demographics means. It just means more white people. Just more more white men, probably, if I, if I had to if I had to venture a guess. If I had to venture a guess. Yeah. Yeah, Ranger 451. These are the bold intelligent saviors of the Aryan race, by the way. These are the last bastion of mature traditional values. Y pretty much. You're you're looking at, this is the best pronoun sticker. <laughs> You're looking at, uh, a quorum is following. Thank you very much. Up here, the, the pronouns. This is, this is the kind of person that thinks that this, this, uh, website is necessary. The, the kind of person who would froth themselves up into a, a frothing rage at the idea of inclusivity of any kind because i bet you while this guy would have an issue with pronouns in his game i bet you he doesn't have an issue with people making mods to take them out just like he probably doesn't have an issue with people making mods to put nazi shit in there like it's it's all <sighs> a quorum it's a goat I'm glad I love goats too. Thank you, Boxing Cat SWL, for the sticker, by the way. Um, just found your YouTube and I'm currently binging your content. Just had to come find your Twitch. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy my content. I have a lot of stuff on the way. Is that it? That's like we have we have nothing to uh nothing to worry about there, I'm sure. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, we need to help them insulate themselves against deplatforming. If they get traction, SJWs will care into their hosting company to Cloudflare, etc. Oh, they're so scared of, like, being DDoS'd. Bending knees and self-censorship, just like sites like 8chan did. Mm. You want to gatekeep the Wokies and Normies from this site? Don't spread it. It's too late, ding-dongs. It already comes up because of you dorks when you fucking, uh... Like, Google search it. Oh, oh, oh. Look, we have one person in Kotaku in action who's saying, I'm all for an alternate site like that, but the Nazi stuff should go away. It's exactly what the woke wants, assimilating us to Nazi to get us censored and banned. I wonder why. When you have a website that has so much Nazi shit, people might say, you're Nazis. 
or at least Nazi adjacent. I fucking wonder why, but here we go. Honestly, once somebody brings that up, I'll just have to tell them it's a shame that they pushed me to a site that hosts such content when what I was looking for was something far less egregious. It's actually the Wokey's fault that I hate black people and hate gay people so much that now I'm on a Nazi website. That's not my fault. That's the fault of other people that I cannot play a game with black people without trying to turn them white. Or with trans people without trying to remove tiny little bumper sticker decals. And that's their fault. Not me. Not something I need to change about myself. Yeah, Loresque was taken. The logic is then Nexus should get rid of... All right, quote from another reply, Beretta ARX. Then Nexus should get rid of all sex slavery mods and big titty mods. Even if you hate those and have no interest in ever downloading, saying that is still endorsing censorship. Saying you don't want to be associated with Nazis. Like, oh, you're for censorship? Cuck. God. Man, uh, Windows 95 TM, man, I can't imagine why us Wokies think these people are Nazis. Couldn't, couldn't possibly imagine. Couldn't possibly imagine. Elon Almighty responds, I know you guys aren't racist or homophobic and just care about ethics. Sure, Elon. So why are so many of the mods on this site called Remove Blacks, Whites Only, and No Degenerists? Hugo Morth responds, because that's free speech. I disagree with their policy on lolly content, but U.S. law can be extremely complicated when it comes to that, so I understand why they wouldn't want to bother with it. What you're saying is you're a pedophile. I don't care if somebody, if you disagree with their, their, like, this is the idiocy about slippery slope arguments, right, right here. Because so many of these people are the same kind of people who would say, Oh, we can't have gay marriage because where does it end? And the answer to anybody with a a working brain is it ends somewhere. It ends at gay marriage. It ends at recognizing equal rights for people who are different. Like that, that's where it ends. So when people try and apply that same dumbass take to free speech, to being like, oh, well, if we censor, if we censor lolly shit, where does it end? Probably with the pedophiles. Probably like we censor child porn. It ends when those freaks aren't able to access what they want. Because people make it harder for them. And they censor it. Like people like, oh, well, if if we censor Nazi shit, where does it end? Probably with the Nazi shit. Okay, so you've censored Nazi shit and lolly shit. I'm good. I can live with that. I'm good with that. Because if somebody endorses those kind of things, I don't care about what they have to say. They're not worth listening to. They are censoring themselves through their idiocy and ignorance. (laughs) Huh. Negative two. No, I got better place for mods. Uh, Playground.ru, Russian website, my favorite. Good website, compared to Nexus mods, yeah. Harder for non-Russian people, though. It's so fully in Russian. And then you have a, a negative three right below that, which I, I cannot read Cyrillic. Uh, hand fix our cow ben, Thank you for joining and, uh, and engaging. Words of violence. Let's call everyone we disagree with chuds and Nazis. It's okay. They are Nazis and not real humans. Good job, leftists. You devalue people so you can do horrible things to them, just like the Nazis in World War II. Are you, are you being ironic or uh, serious right now? Because... Um, because we've we've gone over like we we literally just like are you are you trolling or are you uh not because um we literally just went over how all the people who were bitching about pronouns are the people advocating things like ah let's go see uh like this one like they they want to add these flags the the nazi flags and they want to you know oh edit out black and lgbt dwarfs and, uh, oh, yeah, they want to remove car pride flag. And, uh, oh, Heil Caesar, they want to add Nazi shit to, to Fallout New Vegas, too. So, like, the people who are, it, it, it sure seems, just judging by this, and, and there's, of course, this gem. How can we, how can we forget, uh, not Spider-Man? It sure seems like, oh, Mace, no, I, thankfully, they, they didn't, uh, race swap Miles Morales. They did swap all of the. Um, oh yeah, Il Nido. You didn't. You didn't see that one. 
They did, like, race swap all of the murals that were painted by black artists in the game for, um... And then... Yeah, and then changed pride flags to American flags. Learn from this. Like, this is... This is the people who are who are against your pronouns. These are the people who are mad and are starting their own mod sites and are saying, "Oh, you can't you can't force me to do free speech." It's these people. This is the free speech they want. They don't want to actually be able to skip pronouns because if they did, they wouldn't have thrown a fit about it in the first place. What's wrong with free speech? Dog dog like nothing is wrong with free speech but you should always like here's here's the thing that people don't seem to get a lot of the time and we were talking about this earlier free speech it's it's not really a slippery slope because people are like oh if you if you outlaw or ban nazis if you outlaw or ban like lolly shit which a lot of these people uh on this uh on this forum were very in favor of where does it stop where do you stop you stop right there like that's where you stop you stop with the people who want other people dead and not letting them have a forum to talk about and spread conspiracies and lies about how other people should die you stop at banning lolly shit and not allowing pedophiles to be open and engage with others and spread their disgusting bullshit. Like, that's that's the slippery slope that so many people get mad about. And what's more is that people always talk about free speech. Like, oh, you can say whatever you want. The problem is, is that the speech is free. The consequences get paid in full. You can say whatever you want. This, this right here, yeah, it's covered under free speech. But there's a reason why it's not on other sites. There's a reason why it's not on Nexus mods. It's because nobody fucking wants to deal with this shit. Nobody in a civilized society who wants to live alongside other people wants to have somebody who thinks that this is a worthwhile endeavor near them, around them. It's why so many people just shrug and go when when Nexus Mods bans a, a mod that allows you to uh, not change pronouns to they, them. So many people just go, eh. Because we look at that and, and you might say, oh, well, that's against free speech. But think about the consequences being paid in full. Think about these kind of people are the same kind of people. And most importantly... Is anything really being lost? Because it is free speech. But are we losing anything by not listening to it? Are we gaining anything by having that free speech? No. And that's how society goes. That's how we progress together. Is a majority of us look at shit like this and look at all these other mods and go, nah. And then people like this seethe and moan and cope and get mad. And they make more shit like this.